Right, that's the equivalent of being 102 as a human, facing the second oldest secret silverback in the world. Certainly the oldest in Europe, and uh, as we approach the island, if you stay nice and quiet, we're more likely to get We are actually part of Nico's enrichment, he does enjoy watching us watching him. He'll be looking at the boat to see if there's any particularly hairy people he might want to fall in love with. The word gorilla actually means hairy person. Oh look, lovely view of our hippos have actually come out in the middle of the day, very rare occurrence. But uh, one eating and one very much asleep. At Spot and Sonia, the two most dangerous animals we have at Longlit. In the wild, hippos kill three to four hundred people every year. Not because they've got any mind to eat you, they're just incredibly territorial and perpetually bad-tempered. If you uh, have a look at uh, the one that's asleep there, you'll see she has a pink spotty bottom, hence the name Spot. Sonia is the slightly larger of the two, she's named after the keeper's ex-girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely view of Nico, like I say. He's peeking around at someone. Now, believe it or not, that is Nico's happy face. Uh, a lot of people do think he looks miserable, but the answer to that is he's a gorilla, that's his face. Um, we're quite unusual as humans, actually. We're the only type of primate that smile when we're happy. In any other primate, smiling is a sign of fear or aggression. So a nice relaxed face means nice relaxed gorilla. What did you say? I like it when they walk. Although they can't As we head on up the lake, so this is where the sea lion girls come out to have their pups in the swing time. Weren't expecting any pups this year, however, although Buster is only 17 years old, he's had over 20 pups with us, so uh, we've got a lot of his genetics, we don't need any more from him right now. However, explaining this to Buster was a bit of a trick, so he's been put on the pill. Our girl's getting a well-deserved break this year. You're actually a really raw deal. If you're a female sea lion, you're pregnant for just over 11 months of the year. In the brief window, you're not. It's hugely best of time to shine. And here is an awesome view. This is our brand new gorilla enclosure. And again, if we're nice and quiet, because they've only been coming out for three weeks, so you can imagine how scary it is having to move house and make new friends and then have to get over the idea of a lake with a boat on it. But they've taken it to it like a fish to water. And most of that is due to this little one here at the front. This is a Vindy. He's only six years old. And six years old and a gorilla is very similar to six years old as a human. He's full of fun and mischief and totally fearless. So he's been showing his big brothers how to do it. Just next to him is Alf. He's nine years old. And right at the back there we've got Keisho. He's 13. He's a silverback. Looks very much like uh, Nico did when he first came to us. There is still one more boy inside. His name is Bolas. He's 26 years old and he's probably the biggest silverback you'll ever see. He's about six foot tall. He makes Keisho there look rather short and dumpy. Uh, the only reason he's not in with these guys yet is because he's a complete stranger to them. Although these three came from different zoos, they were actually born in the same zoo. They're half-brothers and they remembered each other from there. So uh, almost instantly Keisho wanted to run over and uh, cuddle his two little brothers. So they were able to mix them in very quickly. It'll take a little longer for Bolas just because he is a stranger to them and because he is such a big gorilla as well. You want to make 100% sure they're going to get on well. They're doing a bit of ground feeding there. Their keeper's hiding all their food about them, so they've got to work at it. Very keen eyesight on a gorilla. Colour vision just like us. There's Keisho. That's a very typical gorilla stand there. With these two young ones as well, they're doing a lot of tree climbing. I don't know if you can see this tree at the end, how high up they've actually stripped the bark. Little of Indy, bless him, has been sitting up there throwing sticks down at his big brother. A lot of people are asking us, well, we've got all boys in this group. The answer to that is very simple. It's a very important part of the breeding program. It sounds silly, but in giving these boys home, you've freed up space in breeding colonies. More importantly, this is very natural for gorillas. Older and younger male gorillas do form bachelor groups in the wild. One day, Alf and Avindi will probably go off and be daddies themselves. Keisha and Bolas have had their time being daddies themselves in other zoos too. But for the moment, once you've taken girls out of the equation, boy gorillas do get on very well. Nothing to argue over. <laughs> you might have noticed all the sea lions have suddenly appeared. Oh, there's some running gorillas. I was chasing a crow. <laughs> That was a rude awakening for that bird. He didn't realise that was happening. Uh, yes, the reason the sea lions are all here is because uh, it's time to start selling their fish. It's their favourite today. It's sprats. It's a pound a pot if you do want to have a go. And there are only 30 pots, so it is first come, first served. Remember, if you are feeding the sea lions, you throw that fish wide over the bank or you might lose a hand. And if you can bring the pots back when you're done, that would be most appreciated as they are taking the show. Thank you.